Hello everyone, I'm Class72 and welcome back to another video about the VK16801P. I have two replays for you guys today, both of them masteries, so let's start off right with this one here. I am top tier on Canyon, and after some confusion in my team which direction to go, I will be pushing rather aggressively to the bridge near the center of the map. I really enjoy that position for my heavy tanks, because from there you can influence the battle on both sides of the map, while not exposing yourself on the hilltop. And, I, and as I drive along through here, I'll be getting a very nice shot in on the Comet, even tracking him. And then I'll continue moving forward. I'll be using the support pillar there as cover to keep my lower plate hidden, in case there were any tank destroyers waiting on the other side. The Comet is doing a good job of keeping himself hidden from me, and I won't be able to um, shoot him. So I'm going to continue to push forward to the Arch, where a T-49 does appear, and he puts a big 500 damage in me. But I get a shot and return, so. A M4 FL-10 is coming down rather aggressively on me. And I'm going to be, once my gun's loaded, turning around to put a shot into him as he tries to make a one for it. But I still do get nice 400 damage in his wheel. I'm going to be moving forward through the old shield to try to put some shots into that KV-4 there maybe. He appears and I aim for his lower plate. The shot goes astray and I do not do any damage. I will be having some rather bad luck on that KV-4 for the entire battle. I load APCR for this one, but I only destroy his track. The enemy T-28 comes forward to push me, and he does have some initial success, but I'm going to be moving back towards him. Put a nice... Put a nice shot into his hatch there. And he's already down to just 700 hit points. He does get me again. Don't angry steep enough. I'm going to be pushing forward so I can put another shot into his hatch. I should have used AP for that, but still. He's just one more shot. I can almost take him out. And I'm going to aim for his hatches again, which are the big weak spot in that tank. And I can finish him off. The KV-4 is rather exposed with his side. So I'm going to be pushing a little further to put a shot into him. He's going to come out on the other side of that walk. But, yet again, I do not damage him. I'll be pulling back now to try to stay closer to our Scorpion so he can maybe support me if needed. He is also coming towards me. And together we're going to be um, pushing towards the KV-4 in a minute, but first I'll be taking out the M4 FL-10 who is cockily coming over the hill. It's just me and the Scorpion now. And I'm going to try to help our Scorpion here keep his hit points, because he's very valuable to my, me right now. Put a shot into the KV-4 as I drive by. And I got the KV-4's attention on me now, so our Scorpion can... And use his big gun safely. Back enough to put a shot in his wheel. Almost finishing him off. And I'm and our scorpion somehow delays in killing him so he can fire one more shot. But he is finished off and I can safely continue forwards to where the enemies were last spotted. The super portion is actually spotted to my wide, which I don't expect. The scorpion can put a shot into him. And as he, as he comes around towards me, big mistake on his end, I can put a shot into his exposed side and finish him as well. Now there's only the enemy IS-5. He's low health. And I want to go in and get a fourth kill for myself. Do, do try to get that shot. Don't hit. Would have been nice, but doesn't make much of a difference. want to go up behind him here, so kind of pushing him towards our scorpion. 
but he come fa comes falling down there, and I can finish him off, giving giving myself four thousand damage, four kills. I didn't bounce all too much damage this battle, but still, very fun, good damage, and a mastery. So, here we are for the second replay on Winter Malinovka. I am platooning with a clanmate here. He's in the Action X. And we're going to be pushing together on the right flank. Our team is splitting up here, which is something I don't like to see. But it can be a good idea on this map. If the mediums work together well on the flank, it can really lead to some success. So... We'll be seeing how this goes, and we're moving along. But it seems like it seems like the enemy team is more on the left, so I'm gonna be moving down along here to push a little more in the middle, so I'm a little more flexible in my options. The enemy, the the enemy Shimeo was are doing some big damage to our Pantera, and up here a T28 defender was spotted. He's playing very foolishly. And I can put a nice shot into his side. But I do take a shot from the ST1 and return. We lose our Pantera. But we are also going to finish off their defender. So. Their M103 also pushed pretty far. So I can put another 500 damage into him as he retreats. I'm going to be pushing. I'm going to be pushing for that ST1 in a moment. To keep him occupied while my teammates take out the M103. The arm of the ST1 is very thick. You just have to get to that lower plate. I get nice 460 damage in on him. He does get me in return. So I am definitely at the hit point disadvantage here. My teammates finish off the M103. I exchange another shot with the ST1. And now I'm just going to be keeping him busy so that my platoon mate and his Kionovan Action X can kind of come around from behind and put a bunch of DPM in on him. So we can, we got the ST1 really nice in a pencil here. He doesn't have many options. And my teammate's just shooting away in his wheel. Awesome. some pretty good teamwork here and that way we can finish him off relatively easily. Our mediums have lost the battle, and our, and so I'm going to be expecting them to come up around from the left. Going to wait around, see where they'll come. With my, te with my two teammates left, I'll move in further back, I'm also going to start backing up. But we're going to spot their Shimeras, so I'm going to be moving forwards again to put a shot into one of them, hopefully. The second Shimeo was exposed and I can put a nice 400 damage into him. I am pretty low on hit points. The Shimeo's only need two hits to take me out. So I have to be careful. I can't play too aggressive. Gonna go pushing for one of the Shimeo's. I would like to finish that guy off. Mm, don't hit that shot. Would have been nice. Our T30 finishes him off instead, but uh, he's he's destroyed by the surviving Shimeo. Are we pulling up behind the Shimeo and finishing him off? For my second kill. The Pantera is low hit points as well, so I'm going to be moving forwards and hopefully taking him out. My platoon mate is not having too much luck getting him. Just be patient here. If you're, pa if you're patient, the enemy will often make the mistake. And same thing here. Pantera moves forward and I can finish him off with a nice shot. Now, I'm assuming that the enemy's killing Avon. I'm guessing that he might be AFK. So I'm going to be driving right towards the spawn here. He, he has spotted once this game and he's got no kills. So I think it's very likely he will be AFK. My... Uh, my platoon mate in the Kionovan, in his Kionovan Action X is going to be going to capture the base. I've done 3000 damage until now. I actually haven't <laughs> blocked any damage. 
<laughs> and uh, if I don't if I don't find him AFK here, I plan on going to capture the base. But he is AFK, and I can really give myself a nice big boost to my damage. 450 damage there. And I'm going to be moving forwards and putting another shot into him, putting me at almost 4,000 damage. Over 4,000 damage. Moving into Wham. This Willy is going <laughs> to... This AFK guy definitely gave me the ace in this battle. <laughs> without that, without that 1,500 extra damage, I wouldn't have gotten the ace. But definitely still a very fun battle. Some good teamwork with between me and my platoon mate and finishing off that ST1. I didn't ricochet any damage at all. <laughs> um Yeah. But four and a half thousand damage. Good battle. Good battle. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed these battles. If you did enjoy them, please hit that like button and maybe consider subscribing. Claw72 out.